Welcome everyone. Um, today we're um, joining you and we're gonna make carrot pepper salsa. So this is a new recipe for us that this is the first time we've made it. We grew a bunch of carrots in our garden this summer in the high tunnel and decided it would be fun to try a new recipe with that. And it says this delightfully different salsa is a mouthwatering addition to hot dogs and sausages. It's all, it also makes a delicious dip for fresh vegetables or tortilla chips. Stir it into potato or pasta salad to add color and flavor. So we're really excited to try something a little bit different um, for some fun. So we're gonna go ahead and start with um, working on our coarsely chopped cord peeled tomatoes. So our first step, we have a kettle of um, boiling water. So we're just going to put our tomato in and let it go just long enough that the skin splits. It's very easy. Um, so we'll just let it go for just a little bit and that skin will split. It makes it really easy to skin these. Um, if you've joined us for fresh garden salsa or our freezing corn or freezing peaches, you've seen us use this blanching technique. So as soon as that tomato is done, we're just gonna put it in a boil of, or a bowl of cold ice water, um, which stops that cooking process and um, kind of shrinks the inside of the tomato, which makes it really easy for the skin to come off. So as you can see, I've already peeled some tomatoes. We've um, kind of got everything ready to go. And um, generally, in a really hard boiling water, it doesn't take the tomatoes very long. Um, we were just laughing. This certainly makes cooking videos much easier so that you guys can see what we're doing. Um, but our little hot plate certainly doesn't get as hot as our stove top burner um, does. Oh, and we have split. So the skin has split. So we'll just go ahead and put it in our ice water for just a few seconds to get it cool enough to handle. And then it just is very simple. That skin just slides right off of that tomato super easy after all of that. So then we are going to um, just core and peel that. So that hard core on the end. Um, we'll just do this really quick. Get a few things out of the the way so you guys can see what we're doing. Um, so then I'm just going to really quickly dice this tomato up into uniform size pieces of what I've already cut up. So like we've talked a lot about, um, investing in some good equipment is critical, especially if you're gonna do a lot of canning and food preservation. And a sharp knife is definitely on the top of that list of items that are critical to have. So that is the end and makes my six cups of tomatoes. And what variety of tomato are We're using Roma tomatoes, um, which is what is recommended um, for a lot of our canning because they're a very meaty um, tomato so you don't lose a lot of the juice. So we have six cups of tomatoes. So we're going to add our six cups coarsely chopped cord peeled tomatoes to our kettle. Our next ingredient is three cups of coarsely grated peeled carrots. Plug my, today we're gonna use our salad shooter to um, grate our tomatoes, or not our tomatoes, our carrots, because it's really quick. Um, so I am just going to put my measuring cup in a bowl to catch my extra. And I'm just gonna load my salad shooter with a few carrot pieces and And 
as you guys can see, the salad shooter makes that process really quick and easy. So there is my three cups of carrots ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those into my tomatoes. All right, then we're going to add a cup and a half of cider vinegar. And as always, when we measure, we get down eye level so that we get an accurate measurement. Now we're going to add a cup and a quarter of lightly packed brown sugar. I'm really excited to taste this one. I think it's gonna be a fun um, flavor to enjoy. So there's our cup and a quarter of lightly packed brown sugar. Now we're going to do a half a cup of finely chopped seeded jalapenos. Um, so when working with jalapenos or any of the hot peppers, it's recommended that you wear gloves, um, the capsaicin, capsaicin in the peppers um, will burn your skin and definitely your eyes if you touch them after. So um, this calls for seeded jalapenos. So you're going to want to just remove those membranes and seals, seeds. Um, so just very quick and easy. Um, another way to do it is just with a spoon down that vein which makes it really easy to just scoop them out. In a very quick. And then I'm just gonna cut them in half and we're gonna use our nifty little food chopper which is um, quickly becoming our favorite canning tool. And it makes very short work of chopping all these vegetables and you get really nice uniform pieces, which is really important when you're um, doing these. So we're gonna do a half a cup of jalapeno. And as you can see, we've got a little, probably more than a half a cup, but we have another recipe that we're gonna use the rest of our jalapenos in um, later today. And it just makes a really nice, even shape for whatever you put through the food chopper, um, which is really nice because it makes your finished product really pretty. So a half a cup of our finely chopped jalapeno peppers. We're going to add in a half a cup of chopped onion, which we did already through our food chopper. And since I'm done with my jalapenos, I'm gonna take my gloves off. We're gonna add a teaspoon and a half of salt. And when we are canning, and it calls for salt, we actually wanna want add canning and pickling salt because it's plain salt, there's nothing added, there's no iodine. Um, so it keeps your finished product really clear and not cloudy versus your iodized table salt. And it also has no um, anti-caking 
substances in it, so sometimes there will be lumps, but that's very normal. Our regular table salt has anti-caking in it, which also causes cloudiness in our pickles or canned products. Okay. A teaspoon and a half of our salt. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of our freshly ground black pepper. Ooh. And they said, do you wanna use the freshly ground versus um, the already ground black pepper that you would buy at the store? Because it has more flavor. So a half a teaspoon. And at this point, we're gonna go ahead and bring it to a boil and stir it constantly and let it go until it's thickened about an hour. 